Hi everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here, and today we're doing Lesson 2.9 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 2.9 is about solving multiple step problems, and we're going to use a strategy called Draw a Diagram in order to solve these multi-step problems. So, multi-step problem just means you have to do more than one problem in order to solve or find the answer. So, in this one, they give us the problem and they unlock the problem there. It says, it says, at the sea park, one section of the stadium has nine rows with 18 seats in each row. In the center of each of the first six rows, eight seats are in the splash zone. How many seats are not? in the splash zone. And then it gives us a graphic organizer down here to help us solve the problem. So, whenever we have problems like this, we need to ask ourselves these three questions. What do I need to find? Right here. What do I need to find? What information do I need to use? And how will I use the information? And then, over in this section is where we'll draw our diagram to help us solve. So, in this specific problem, I need, what do I need to find? It says I need to find the number of seats that are not in the splash zone. So, I'm going to fill in this graphic or organizer with the word not. I'm finding what, how many are not in the splash zone. What information do I need to use? I need to use the information that says there are nine rows with 18 seats in each row of the section. And also I need to use the information that says there are six rows with eight seats in each row for the splash zone. How will I use this information? Well, I'm going to do, in other words, what kind of math? I can multiply, and I'm just going to do the multiplication sign, to find both the number of seats in the section and the number of seats in the splash zone. So over here they drew a diagram for us already. They drew the whole entire section that has 9 rows and 18 seats in each row. So they drew up 9 and across 18. And then they drew the splash zone, which said it was in the center so in the center of each of the first six rows, so it's only going to go up six, it says there's eight seats. So we have our splash zone is going eight across and six up. So two things. First, I'm going to find how many total seats there are, which I'll do by multiplying 18 times nine. And then I need to take away from that, the seats that are in my splash zone, which I'll find by doing 8 times 6. So, first problem, 18 times 9. When you work that out, it gives you 169. Second problem, 8 times 6 is 48. So, I'm going to have to do... Um, I'm sorry, not 169. This should be 162. So I'm going to do 162 seats in total. Take away my 48 in the splash zone. So if I do 162 minus 48, I get 114. So if I were to count all these tiny little blocks that are outside of the splash zone, it should add up to 114 seats that are not in the splash zone. So that's pretty much it for this lesson. You just need to know that when you have more than one or a multi-step problem, you need to make sure you're clear on what you need to find, what information you're going to use, and how you're going to use it, or in other words, what kind of math will you do? And then, just so you don't get confused, it's a really good idea to make a diagram for yourself so you don't forget what you're doing and get numbers mixed up. 
Okay, so that is lesson 2.9. I hope it helps, and if you have any questions, just leave me a message.